right, right now. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Look at that. Alright guys, coming at you with a new video, I want to show you the 12 volt pump I've selected for the DIY IBC tote. Right now it's being powered by my DIY 18650 lithium solar generator. This is acting as the power source. And here's the pump I've selected. It's a 12 volt pump, SureFlow. It's made by Pentair. 7.5 ants max drone here. And uh, as you saw, I just tested it out. Very impressed by the uh, flow and so forth. Do it one more time here. Take a look. So, good amount of water coming out. It's pretty awesome. So every time I pull the trigger, the pump turns on. And uh, if you haven't seen my 18650 generator I built, this is a DIY generator. Go ahead, check out that video up in the corner. I'll put a link to it. And uh, I wanna show you what I'm drawing right now. Now on my generator here, it's both 24 volt and 12 volt. I do have a buck converter, so I can use 12 volt accessories. Everything that's 12 volt passes through the buck converter and through this little meter right here, so I can tell how much power overall the 12 volt side of the bus is using here. So every time I pull this trigger on this water pump, let's see how much energy this uses. So here we go. So it looks like it's pulling between 50 and 70 watts here. Do it again here. I would say actually closer to 60 watts on average here. Not too bad at all. So not a bad power draw. This will definitely pair well with a 50 watt solar panel. Of course, the pump will always run off the batteries and the panel will act as a generator to uh, charge the batteries through a charge controller. So we can use this pump anytime, whether it's cloudy or rainy. All right, guys, gonna call it the end of this video here. I need to build a permanent home for this new pump as well as its own sole proprietary battery, 18650s I'll use. I have plenty of those. And uh, looking forward to implementing this, getting this going for next spring. But I get everything worked out pretty much. Work on the battery and case for everything. And we'll be using rainwater to water our gardens and so forth. So if I uh, have another video, I'll come back with you on this series here for the DIY off-grid rainwater system. I want to thank you guys for watching, checking it out here. Pretty excited about this. Everything seemed to work out really well. I'm looking forward to the future use of rainwater here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Do please like, subscribe, leave a comment, share, ask a question. We'll catch you next time.